Hey, I'm Dawson with Chandler Vac. Today we're gonna go over how to check and replace your veins on a Battione rotary vein pump. Here's the tools that we're gonna need. We're gonna need a ball ping hammer, snap ring pliers, a chisel, an eight millimeter Allen key, two 10 millimeter bolts, a 17 millimeter, a 15 millimeter, and a 10 millimeter socket, and a ratchet wrench. If you have an impact, it comes in handy. To check your wear on your Battione pump, you have an access port on both end plates, one right here, and you have one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one right here, eight millimeter Allen key. Spin the rotor so you can locate your veins and check and make sure you're not past the wear line. If we are past the wear line, we'll go ahead and replace it. This is a brand new pump, for, but for video purposes, we're gonna go ahead and pull this end plate. So first thing we're gonna do is grab the chisel and the ball ping, and we have to remove this key so I can get this flange off there. All right, once your key is removed, 10 millimeter socket to remove these three bolts. All right, now that we got those three bolts off, you'll go ahead and remove your flange, remove your wavering and set those to the side. On the inside of here, you have a snap ring. Go ahead and remove that guy. Next, we're gonna remove your main end plate bolts. It's a 15 millimeter socket. After removing your bottom four bolts, we'll take our two 10 millimeter bolts by 45. There's two threaded holes on the end plate that we'll go ahead and insert those. Once those are inserted, you can remove the other bolts. Now that all of our bolts are removed, we'll go ahead and proceed to insert these to pull off that bearing. You're gonna wanna kinda just go back and forth between the two to pull off that bearing evenly. Once your end plate is pulled off, you have access to all of your veins. You can then inspect those, pull them out, replace them. All right, now that we're here, we're gonna go ahead and we have our new veins. We're gonna go ahead and insert those back into our rotor. So now that we got our new veins and we've re replaced our end plate gasket with a new one, we'll go ahead and grab our end plate. Here, I'm gonna remove the bearing, set that to the side. We'll go ahead and make sure that there's nothing on the end plate itself and go ahead and proceed to put it on. Once the end plate is put on, we'll go ahead and insert one of our bolts. Got two of those sitting in there right now. I'll go ahead and put that bearing back inside the end plate. Here we have grease in our bearing. You wanna make sure that when that bearing's going in there that you're going around and making sure it's going in square. Okay, now that we have that bearing in there partially just seated to hold my rotor, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these two bolts. Once those two are removed, I'm gonna go ahead and lift these end plate holes. That's for your alignment. So now we're gonna enter, insert our alignment pins. Now that those are in, we'll go ahead and insert our main end plate flange bolts. Ok, 
Okay, now that we've got our end plate bolts tight, we went ahead and removed our two alignment pins. I'm gonna go back to the bearing and make sure that that's fully seated in. Now that we have our bearing seated, we're gonna go ahead and proceed to put our snap ring back on. Make sure that's seated it in place. Rotor spins, put our wave ring back in there. This flange right at the top, you have a grease cert. That's how we're gonna assemble it. That's gotta be our metric 10 socket. Okay, now we're gonna reinstall our port. You have a crush washer. And we'll reinstall our key. Now that we got our pump put all back together, shaft spins freely, it's good to go. Um, for any parts, pumps, pieces, please just check our website out at chandlervac.com. Thanks for sticking around.